Hello YouTubers, I'm Ineos Gamer345, back with another review. Um, so this is a hardware review, episode 2 of hardware reviews. Um, this is a different system. Um, it's one that I really never touch on, basically. But it's the Atari Flashback, the original. Um, I am aware of it, that it's not the original, but you can use cartridges. But I'm getting an Atari 2600 soon, so Atari reviews will begin. So, but for now, I'm just going to go through the flashback. So, here's the review. Hope you guys enjoy. And so, Atari flashback. Like the 7800, the Atari flashback was re released around 2004. And it's been continued on the way, and they made the Atari flashback for last year. Unless if you're watching this sooner. A couple years ago. But, it's an emulator, or simulator, of Atari 7800 games. Now, originally I thought this was a 5200 simulator. It has about, let's see. It has 20 games on it, not too bad. These are all the popular ones that were on the 7800 and 2600. These include Battle Zone or Breakout or Asteroids or Yars Revenge. Anything you can throw at it, it's there. Now the Atari Flashback console does not have a cartridge port to put in your Atari games, like the Sega Genesis Flashback console, which does have a Sega Genesis port to play Genesis games. And so we can't use the add-ons that much because they don't support that. These include games that were originally released for the 2600. And as a controller, it's a very crappy controller. I mean, I like the controller somewhat. I mean, it's okay for a couple of the games that support this. And, not to offend any of Atari fanboy, but I would rather prefer the Sega Genesis controller. Just because the w it's the way it was made. And plus, it more reliable instead of it ro rocking around in your hand. But we'll get to that later in the video. It has the original Atari feeling. It's not too bad. Of course, I didn't. I didn't get this at first hand. I mean, I wasn't. I didn't get this when I was three. A friend, one of my brother's friends, actually actually bought that off of him. I mean, if I had a paddle controller, it would actually do a lot better. Because I'm not doing very well. But anyway, 20 games is on, the, on the console is not too bad. Although I would rather prefer the original Atari 2600. Because it has more of a game library in other ones such as Pole Position. Or, or Miss Pac-Man or Pac-Man. Why would I even want to play Pac-Man? What about Pitfall? It doesn't have that. Or Space Invaders. I can just go buy an Atari 2600 and get one. I, I don't I don't get it. But they made this in 2004. Of course, they have updated the past versions. They should have included Pawn in this. They should have had Pawn. I'm, I'm serious. Pawn is one of the greatest Atari games of all time. It's what made Atari famous. And you can use the original... Atari 2600 and 7800 controllers. It has two control ports that support the original or the Genesis controller if you prefer. Or aftermarket controllers. Whatever you like. Just put it in and it'll work. The games are totally classic, 1970 and 80-ish. Although, I'm surprised that this doesn't have a cartridge slot. Like I said again, it doesn't support that. Which I'm a little bit frustrated of. Because that's what most consoles have. You can support that. Now, of course, you have to reset it to choose a different game instead of buying multiple cartridges. This became a little bit revolutionary, but I would rather prefer cartridges. And no offense to you, the emulators, but I would rather have that. And I think. This is just one of the greatest games ever. Air Sea Battle is one of the greatest examples of Atari games. That are just by itself. 
So your object is to shoot ships or planes at whatever you prefer. Totally Atari Classic. And it's just very fun to play with a friend so you can piss off your friend. Unfortunately, I don't have such friend to play the game with. Because I'm just playing this in my basement all alone. And I don't see why, but this is just fun. I enjoy it. Some third party some third party games are on this. I mean I, I like that, but why not just add some of the original? Like Space Invaders or Pawn. But I don't know what they were going with it. This was actually not made by Atari. It has the Atari logo and some of its games that were released. So I think Infograms or Hasbro made this. I, I need to double check my history on that. So even though it's a third party product, it's very good. I think this was a good idea to choose to make Atari Flashback. And that's his other competitor, Sega, for Sega Flashback, and Nintendo, which doesn't have such a thing that exists. I think these are the flashbacks from ones that consoles that don't exist and that companies are not available anymore for hardware services. But whatever the deal is, you can play Atari, Chrome 7200, and 7800 games. You can pretty much choose anything and just, it's great. I don't see why this is a problem. But just go with it and have fun. Gravatar is also a good Atari game, but you need to be a genius to play it. Because I can't figure out what to do. I think I have to shoot a spaceship, but the other things you, you die. Moving on. Yards Revenge and Warlords. Hmm. Let's go with Warlords. This is one of the most popular Atari games of all time. So you destroy the other person's four and make sure you're not dead. Of course, I'll be doing reviews on these later on on an actual Atari 2600 because I just feel the need to. And sadly, I don't have anyone else to play it with. I think the flash effects can give someone a seizure. Do they not see that? Oh, crap. They didn't see that. They didn't see that. The flash can give someone a seizure. At least it's not as bad as the virtual boy or something else. But anyway, it's a good game. Most classics are on this. And you can piss off your friends. Oh, great. The green guy died. So, what else is there that hasn't already been said about Atari games? You can actually see the outlines of a destroyed person or destroyed person or face. I don't even need to play, I can just let it play by itself. Oh crap, I didn't really need to play actually. Anyway, moving on to Yard's Revenge. Of course, I've been talking about it's good, but there are some things they could have improved on. First of all, they should have given you a better controller. And this is yours event. I think this is okay, but the controller is not very good. So I don't like it sometimes. I just think why did they make this? I mean the game's okay, but the controller they should have improved on the controller. Oh, I just got killed. So you really had to pay attention as any other video game, it takes hand-eye coordination. Yes, I'm not joking. It does take hand-eye coordination. It's going to be any Atari game. And if the spinny thing comes, you can't shoot it or else it will kill you. So you have to just do your best to avoid the obstacles as possible. Oh uh, great, I died again. See, you just have to go quick and see if I'm hoping you don't die. Ah crap, I'm gonna die. If I just say this, I won't get hit. I gotta...
nothing can hit me. So that is it. And what does it take to win this game? So you can't, oh, you got me? You're serious? I hate this. I want a refund. I don't like this. I want a refund. Gosh dang it. Dang, no. Oh, you have to touch it, I'm stupid. Oh, anyway, I'm not going to talk about it. I'm going to complain about how I can't get this. No! I died! I got, I got to kill this guy. This is going to take forever. I'm sorry if we're going to hold anyone up. Apparently, like, true Tory style, it, does, it, it takes a lot of imagination to play a game. Because there's not very many primitive graphics. Dang it, I can't, I can't, I, I can't get this guy. What does it take to kill supernova powers? By the power of Atari! I want to kill this guy! I just need to get out of this way. This sucks. Let's just go. I want to beat this guy. This sucks. I can't. I can't. I can't hit him. But anyway, this is a very good idea for Infograms to release this system. Damn. You have to be close. You have to be exact timing. This is what I don't like about Yars Revenge. Or any other game that's on the Atari. Darn, it's gonna take you too long and it's gonna be too late. Uh, great. I have to go touch the game one more time. Of course, the most has been a positive review, but there are a few things they could have improved on. First of all, they could have given you a better controller. Yes, I I think I have to go with it. The original Atari 7800 controller was crap. It wasn't bad, but it's not as bad as the 5200. And then you beat it, and then the screen goes off. And that's your revenge for that. Plus, they give you a little something extra, like this little thing to describe about the 7800. The original Atari 7800, inspiration for the Atari Flashback Classic Game Console, was officially introduced at the 1984 Consumer Electronics Show. The system boosted state-of-the-art graphics from the 80s, of course, and was compatible with the most mega-popular Atari 2600. Did you know that Atari once planned to release a 7800 with a computer expansion, a cartridge store, high scores, even a laser disc interface? That was like, so 80s totally. I, I don't know why. But that's a nice little fact to let you know. Now, first of all, I do really need to go through, it's the Atari flashback controller. This is the controller that you're introduced yes you're introduced to a controller that looks like it was made from Mars it is I think one of the worst controller designs of all time it it rocks in your hand if I can show you it rocks in your hand you can't just you can't use it side buttons are not sticky you get a pause and select button they're both right here and for good measures to make sure that's really Atari we give you an Atari logo now as any other thing there is the Atari Ge no Atari Genesis that's hilarious but the Atari Genesis controller let's call it that now the Atari Genesis controller it has the same port as an Atari 2600. I am not joking, I'm going to be playing with a Sega Genesis controller. Alright, so, see? Alright, so let's restart. 
see, I'm actually using an Atari a Sega Genesis controller, except for wired differently. I don't like that. Let's use. This is a tough one. Which one should I play that is good? Oh, breakout. How do you go back to breakout? This sucks. There you go. I think this is how you start it. What? Oh. What? You're serious. You can't start with this. This just sucks. Alright, I have to manually start it with, an with the Atari controller. This is just crap. They shouldn't do this to you. I don't. I can't comprehend how frustrating this is. Don't you? S just Sega. I can't. Oh, okay, it appears you can't use a Sega Genesis controller on an Atari flashback. I'm sorry to disappoint everyone, but you can't use it. It's a pile of crap. They're wired differently, so they're not the original. Why won't you work by the powers of the Sega Dreamcast, the Saturn, the Genesis, Model 1, 2, and 3, the SG-1000, SG-1000 Mark 2, 3, the SC-3000, please work. But it won't, no matter how many times you try or say all the games that were released for Sega over the years, it won't work. I'm sorry to say. Really, could they really try something for that? I mean, that's that's just not right. I'm, I, I, this is going bad. This is going back to my friends. I can't use a Genesis controller. This sucks. <sighs> enough of that. I've played enough of Atari today. But Atari Flashback, I would rather suppose you buy it a 7800 to experience it yourself. But if you don't want to spend a lot of money, the Atari Flashback is for you. I would I would recommend buying this if you're just collecting game consoles like me. And just play it. Play the original Atari games. Or if you have an Atari in your closet, use that too. This is this was NES Gamer 345 with the Atari flashback. Um I'm gonna see you guys in the next review. Hopefully my Atari will come in the mail. Yes, I'm talking about a real Atari so I can play Games! Yay, games! So, I'll see you guys next play. Thank you for watching. Please comment and subscribe. Sorry if this video got a little long. It's going on for like 17 minutes. And I'll see you guys in the next review. Thank you and goodbye.